ends up um, ends up making making the final in Oliver Witt. I love that story of Oliver Witt. As a senior, slowest qualifying time, he betters his qualifying time of 4:34. He runs 4:13.16 to punch his ticket to be the last one in. As you said, he's going to be a state finalist here in his final uh, high school season. Uh, awesome story. That's the kind of uh, surprises, and those are the kind of storylines that you love to see. All right, we're ready now. They're in the box, in the middle of the track there. McCormick. Oh, Not a McCormick, great start from McCormick. And a little trouble on the outside from Ruelas. Gets in McCormick's way. It's Yvette Lewis, or Yvette Harris of Lincoln running very well. Now McCormick kind of gets back on her horse, gets up for second. She might have had Ruelas bump into her early. So we'll see. There probably could be a red flag on the track, we're going to go and look for that, but Harris ran very well with some of the, uh, you know, kind of craziness going on just to her left. She still goes 14 flat. That's a lifetime best for Harris, the Sac Joaquin section man, the champ. McCormick gets up for second. We'll see if that time's good enough to get in the final fields of St. Mary's, who might have also been a part of that kind of bumping that was going on when Ruelas had trouble um, on that first hurdle. Ruelas just shot out of the blocks, and then she got to that first hurdle probably a little too quick. Her steps were off, uh, and then had some problems, and then, um, you know, that's kind of the things that can happen here in the prelims, and now our state leader, McCormick, is going to have to wait to see if she can get in on time. For McCormick to have recovered and still run a 416. Yeah, I know. 416, yeah. Her 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 launch phase was dis, was disrupted. She was able to clear hurdles. She stayed clean. She refound those legs. 416, again, maybe not her, her best sort of time, but comparatively so impressive for her to be able to keep her composure yeah. and, and get back in, in the race. And so if she does qualify on times. Kudos to her and to her coaching staff that, that has her that dialed in. Yeah, 14-16 there for McCormick, and basically from a complete stop after hurdle <laughs> exactly. number one. Uh, impressive. We'll see if she can get through to the final. Here in heat number two, we got Giselle Rodriguez-Sanchez of Fall River in one, Elizabeth Churchill of Aptos in lane two, Riley Costales of Central in lane three, in lane four, Madeline Conti of Monrovia. In lane five, if there's someone who could maybe upset McCormick, it could be Kalia McKenzie of Orange Vista. She's undefeated this year, the Southern Section champ. She's number four in the state.